strong player as we saw in his own right. Uh, maybe a little bit inconsistent at times, but, you know, certainly a guy who, when he was on, his his laser was just ridiculous. Uh, now, though, oh, Yippee off to a kind of a bad start taking a uh, prediction rocket or one of those spam rockets at the beginning already. Yeah, I know his name looks like it says Jai Pie uh, or, or G Pie or something like that, but we if were... You're a silly American. We were nice corrected shot. pretty rapidly. Great shot there to get us started. Oh. And the second one, Jamesy just running right out at him. Um, did not really have a chance there. Uh, one defender remaining already for get on my level. Fantastic is going to have to do a lot of work here and get two armors off of Yip to save the round for uh, Gommel, get on my level. Yes, Gommel. That's what we should call them from here on out, obviously. Uh, <laughs> Yip, though, you know, after initially taking that first rocket, I think that was just to uh, give himself a little bit of a handicap because he's <laughs> not been in really any danger since then. He's going to salt the point now. Ten seconds left in the round. Oh, wow, a great two jukes there. Gets out of the way of two rockets and would have captured the point even if um, he hadn't hit the defender. So great job on his part. Yeah, nice moves. Very solid start. And get on my level, Fantastic is going to have to try and answer for that attacking round. He is going to be put up first for his team. Look, you can actually see him standing on the defensive spawn. He's looking for that super long range laser uh, to try and get himself an advantage right away. Doesn't actually manage to connect with anything. Um, this, uh, this map, Castle Crasher, is basically made up of two big open areas. This first one here has a lot of fences for defenders to be able to use. You, um, you see European teams make use of them a little bit more than the North American teams who like to play a bit farther back. And then you have the second big area with uh, more vision blockers. You've got uh, varying levels of ramps. You have the laser pad back there. It looks like the European team here, Eclipsia, is not making use of that. But Fantastic, oh, just now taking that first point of armor and you know, getting rushed by Lokeum. Yeah, not many EU teams do take advantage of that uh, laser pad, or maybe it's not even advantage, which is the reason that they're not take, that they're not using it at all, as uh, Eclipsia does clean up on defense, and we have a 2-0 advantage for them at the moment with strengths on the attack, so they're actually going to put Lakaim as the, the final attacker. But, yeah, I mean, we, we've noticed almost every single one of the uh, North American teams took advantage of that. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, it's very nice, obviously, because uh, it gives the defender that instant shot rather than a rocket. If you're very precise, uh, you can, you know, hit one, two, three shots pretty quickly. The recharge on the laser while you're on that pad is actually faster than the attacker's recharge, so that's another little benefit. If you can manage to juke or dodge their initial shot, you can get a couple more shots off on them than they can on you. Uh, it looks like Strengths is going to be attacking in. This is the player that we mentioned earlier. Uh, he was playing with Millennium for the first uh, IPL5 EU qualifier, and oh. Eclipsia bought out his contract so that he could join their squad. We'll see. He's already off to a strong start with this attacking round. Just needs to finish off Jamesy uh, to get the round. Almost juked into that oh, rocket, oh, but oh, he's oh, okay. The defender is exposed in strengths. Uh, makes it a clean 3-0 at the moment for Eclipsia, so they are off to a cracking start. Yep, Jamesy is uh, the captain here for Get On My Level, and they, they beat some good teams to make it uh, all the way here to the round of eight, and uh, last time I don't believe they actually made it this far, so already an improvement over the first qualifier for them. Uh, one note about that laser pad, it looks like strengths is actually posted up on it this time. Um, XP3 was telling me he does doesn't like it so much on this map because players know it's a threat and they know to look there every single time they can actually manage to work against you um, because you can have a defender isolated. If if Jamesy were to sprint around the corner and just happen to catch the back of that defender, it's going to be a free kill every time. It's just not in a, an amazing position for defense on this map. Great, Great shot, shot there, knocking the toupee off of Lakayam. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, losing his toupee also results in his death, yep. and Lakayam is down. It's a tough world. <laughs> yes, it is. He has been uh, eliminated actually both times now, but he's delayed the defenders uh, or the attackers long enough that uh, get on my level, um, you know, well, I guess, you know, I mean, let's see here as uh, Strengths and Yeepy were both Man. sitting back. They both have good defensive positions, and that's another round of the bag already for Eclipsia, four in a row. Yeah, Eclipsia is powering through uh, get on my level in this first map, Castle Crasher. Eclipsia actually requested to play first today because they're playing in another event as well tonight for more money. So yeah. these guys these guys are making their rounds here in the Shoot Mania world, trying to uh, assert themselves as, as the team to beat. Uh, they did lose to Colwyn in that first qualifier, but they've got a chance to make it up uh, right now. Um, right. I think, Today uh, and Friday. I think Gommel's level has officially been got on, yeah. I have to say. Uh, as, <laughs> oh, wow, my goodness. There you go, opening up with a 45-meter hit. And Lakayim is not going to let off the pressure. Even though he may be going last, usually you put your strongest attacker first, your weakest attacker last, because then your strongest attackers have the most opportunities uh, to to uh, to flex their laser might. Lakayim is still showing that he's quite adept with that laser. All right, and just because we haven't said it yet, it is worth noting this is elite mode in Shoot Mania. It 
it is the premier competitive mode. Lakayo <laughs> makes it look easy there as he rushes the point. But uh, basically what I wanted to say is that now the score is 5-0. to zero. They're actually playing to six points. That's six successful rounds. And uh, you must win by two. So right now Eclipse is not in any real danger of losing this map. Uh, essentially, the scale is all the way tipped in their favor. They just have to add one, uh, actually, I guess, three more rockets worth of weight uh, yes. to be able to, to win this map and move on to the next one. If that does happen, get on my level. We'll have the map choice, and uh, also the, they'll be able to attack first, not because uh, they lost this map, but because its first attacker actually alternates in these uh, BO3s. But uh, Kenosis, uh, is this his first attacking round? I believe it, yes, is, it is, as Eclipsia has taken every single round up to this point. And they have to take this round, otherwise get on my level will be already down a map, and that spells disaster for them. Uh, Lakaim off to the side, tries to spam out with a couple of shots, almost gets caught out in the open, but uh, no harm, no foul. Well, there we go. Now, lots of harm, lots of fouls as uh, Lakaim goes down. This is one of the, the great strengths of Shoot Mania, is that uh, you know inherently that he has to kill all the guys here, or he's gonna lose. There's not a lot else to it, and Kenosis actually makes it happen, putting Get On My Level on the board. Uh, if they can manage to string together a couple of attacking rounds, this could become, you know, a real game. We could go into extra rounds. If they manage to tie it up at 5-5, five, five, then we would, again, they have to win by two, so we would be forced to go into extra rounds, which is basically anything beyond that six uh, margin there. So, EP attacking in for Eclipsia once more. He is their strongest attacker. They did put him up first, and he did deliver in the first round. Okay, and uh, checking up on the laser pad, but no one is there to be found. In fact, so I'm not sure if the defenders have eyes on him. Well, now they certainly do, as they are actually kind of rushing him Ooh. down and <laughs> forcing EP back. I like this approach a little bit more, putting pressure on EP, as uh, he was able to exploit the ultra defensive positions last time in his first attack round so much easier. Ooh, taking two points of armor already, though, is a bit rough, as uh, only one more stray rocket would eliminate him, put get on my level that much closer uh, to forcing extra rounds. But EP's laser is still very strong. If he can manage to catch one of these defenders out in the open, it will be. Um, you know, a simple task to just rush the point and try to do the dance. Now he's got a defender behind him, though. This is going to be incre incredibly hard. I was going to try to say incredibly crazy. Yes. But it just came out as in cray. It's going <laughs> to be in cray to, to actually pull that off. Yes, it would be in cray. So in cray. Possibly in cray cray. Um, well, let's see here. As who's on the attack now? Fantastic! is up and uh, waiting for those first spam rockets to complete and go through. Thought he was going to jump into the last one, which would have been hilarious, but not so much for Fantastic. All right, and I do want to note this map has another uh, aspect to it that none of our players actually have chosen to use yet. And there are some tunnels, actually, that lead underneath the map. And there's two different exit points. Um, one is about where that cursor is right now. Yep, there's that hole that actually has a jump pad that launches you out, and there's the other one there. Uh, two exits. The cave entrance is if uh, you miss that jump at the very beginning, you can just hop down into the caves and, and pick a route. But um, that basically pigeonholes nice. you into a choke point, and defenders can make use of it. Fantastic with a nice laser to get started. Can't quite pull off the, uh, the two-pay shot we mentioned earlier. He's going to rush him down. And and actually take a rocket for it. Oh. Three rockets, actually, very quickly from Strengths. That's a GG. 6-2. Map is in the bag now for Eclipsia. Of course, we should remind everyone that these are all best of threes today. So we still have a, uh, a map, uh, at the very least, to go here in this set. Hopefully get on my level with their map pick. We'll be able to tie things up. While they sort that out, though, we're going to run to a commercial break. And when we come back, it'll be map number two between get on my level and Eclipsia. <laughs> Oh, 
everyone we are back and we are actually ready to go our teams are excited to play and it is get on my level on the attack now here on archway